over towards that side of things. So speaking of trio, we have three over towards B out the gates here. It's Perfecto, Simple, and actually Bit. So they've put Boomich Aggressive Apartments and Electronic Up Close and Personal Mid. Boomich has been given the freedom here with the CZ to go hunting, and he's found a lot of space. This three-man setup on B right now, they know they've made the right call. Just courtesy of Boomich. So far forward, nothing to report, and so here they come. Vitality with a P250 flash smoke for shocks. Everyone else equipped with the Kevlar vest, and let's see if they can do their Kevlar best into the B site. Oh, oh is that from Zaiwu, a burst of the dome. Takes him off the boost, they'll go for another one. Simple, fearful of the same fate. He doesn't even get there. Masuta cuts him down to size. Boomer just been scouted out on the T stairs and Vitality with a near perfect pistol here. Yeah, I think right now it's uh, going to be the job of holding on to the Kevlar here for Electronic and Boomer. That CZ wouldn't be too bad going into the next round of play either. But what a way to kick this one. Am off. I tripping or was that a burst? I think it was. I heard the little click Brrr. too, right? The burst fire. It gets a it gets a bit of a bum rap. Uh, Zaiwu, I think maybe showing us why. You wouldn't mind using it with the jump peaks right there and then. Just absolutely clotheslines bit. Yeah, wow. I mean, it would it would take someone like Zaiwu using burst fire Glock for us to start believing in it again. Maybe he's, get, get the fire mass in his hand. Stop. Hey, All right, the... hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Let's not go too far. <laughs> Let's not get too out of control here. Now, we have just lost Simple from the server, everybody. We'll get him back ASAP, don't you? And that, but let's get back underway. Game time. Yeah, we do have that MP9 for electronic. The CZ carried across for Boomage here and the extra head armor. So as we're counting pennies, just remember where these extra bits and bobs came from. So over towards Banana is where we'll turn our attention in the early stages for the regular rally of utility. Back and forth they go. When Na'Vi wins this one out, they have control. But sight's set on A and Electronic in pit right now to be tested. Yeah, okay, the Flash looking for him. And they've managed to find Electronic completely unscathed. That is perfection for Vitality. I might say save now, but one of the things I want to say alongside of that is that's the type of plays that I like from Vitality because it kind of just came out of nowhere, right? There were no tells that they were about to run three players out of apartments, and they even went noisy before the flash and smokes had landed. And that's something that I think that Vi Vitality have in their arsenal because of Apex, right? If you guys have kept up with Apex in his career, he used to be an entry fragger. The desk have touched on it. He used to be quite an aggressive member. Now as an in-game leader, you see with some of the pacings of his calls, that similar uh, brazen approach, right? We don't, let's just go, right? You see that come in some of the calls, like some of the pacings and timings. If we do get to overpass, I'm sure you see that bathroom walks, that they're just avoiding all these timings and slinking around yeah. the AWP. It looks beautiful, and it's great when it pays off, and it does right here. So that's one way to deal with a force bite. Let's call it 2-0. But now, V, they get to double dip with the majority of these purchases. It'll just be electronic light on of the armor here. But that one's easy as you like. One kill, bomb down, 2-0. And the pistol round as well. They just ran in, get two kills, and easy as that. So right now, I think if you're Vitality, you count your lucky stars that Na'Vi aren't breathing down your neck in a lot of these post-plant situations. Yeah, I think we've actually seen three kills in two rounds. That's how quick of a start Vitality have had and how little resistance they've met. So it's going to be conservative. Everyone's got the two grand in the bank. It's just Electronic going in a little more naky. Yeah, he's even invested in a smoke here. So a couple more... Uh... Bits of utility than I thought they'd have here. Let's see if Na'Vi can ply these. A couple of HEs to soften up. Saiwoo, are you going to keep jump peeking that? I mean, it just is begging for a little deagle action. Simple's not there, though. Boomich on his signature sandbags. We'll see how much that becomes a conversation topic into this piece. And there's Electronic's balcony bullet. P250's already been scary this series, right? Remember Dust 2 from outside the B doors? He absolutely destroyed Vitality here. As they're working on this mid control, and they're going to get it. So we still has banana right now and a smoke just to corral Vitality and hope that they'll go into short side where it could be an absolute cluster in terms of angles. They want to secure this top banana control now. So a sandbag molly from Apex, a flash as well, setting Zywoo up to be thrust forward with that UMP. Calls it clear and now every single bit that Vitality need to operate with on this T side is under their control. Apartments though, heavily defended. Yeah, and it's such a slither gap. He's hoping to draw Masuta's crosshair away from Simple and set him up for those oh, he's just two away. to the belly. And that's what the Deagle does best, just takes slices out of them. Like a cleaver. Ooh. And now they want Electronic jumping for it. Does convert a necessary frag, and it should enable the plant. I say that with bated breath. The resmoke comes in from Shock's bit, was lingering within it. Does he surge forward or bide his time for the rest? So Perfecto's heading apps. Boom, it's short side. Bit to play alongside. 
Oh, they have two flashes here. They kind of need to set Perfecto up. They need to flash him out of the apartments to fight these pit players, but they're just walking on in. Unannounced. No one's the early warning signal. Zaiwu may not be prepared for this. The trajectory rumbles his position. They're in. And Zaiwu does take down the CZ of Boomich. Looks like Vitality will deal with this. Perfecto, oh, Galil, maybe not going to be saved either. It's Zaiwu to catch him. Lovely conversion from Vitality and a couple of upgrades for good measure. All right, well, it's handled again. It did get sketchy for a moment, right? Simple does a lot here. The Deagle up close in person, a bit more like a shotgun at this range. The bullets to the belly. We've had that discussion a million and one times. But out of position, understaffed, undergunned, couldn't get it done here, Na'Vi. And when they bring out that CT-sided AWP immediately here into the gun round. Zaiwu, on the other hand, he's happy to wield the UMP yet again. Famous is for Perfecto and Boomich for the B defense, and here we go. It's actually three-man B lean out the gates early here. Bit lending a hand with Util. Putting pressure early on Simple towards top mid and Electronic over towards the apartments. Now, this is an aggressive line taken from Simple here. Nobody is going to step across it just yet. Masuda and Kyojin are working on those apartments. Zywu already with top banana control and flashed forward. That is secured. As Boomich want to test the waters here, does he want to get the antenna flash from Perfecto? They're having the discussion about it. Looks like they're happy just to stand and fight passively. So you see these interesting little micro fights across the map here just to get their standard control. Top mid yet to be taken. And it looks like that's next on the docket here. Shocks ready to be flashed on in. Simple's going to be pushed off this arch line either by a flash or a smoke, but we're about to see some action. Oh, they bait the shot. Masuta, quick on the keys. Gets away from trouble. Zywu not so lucky in its bit. Mo's down too. The bomb now loose and Vitality hunting him down. They will at least punish him on the retreat. Now you've got 40 seconds and four members of Na'Vi in hot pursuit. They've been given the respect necessary. I mean, they're not taking additional fights. Yeah, the B bomb site feels like a pretty good finish right now. You could likely get yourself a two on two. And well, even if they go now, it is just Perfecto here is dropped out of smoke. That's going to last until probably the last 10 seconds of this. So with the Util left on Vitality, they throw out a Coffin Smoke, a CT1 will follow, and it's about to be B. Yeah, Boomich is on the way as fast as possible. That's a great incendiary. Do so they just cancel? Run down the clock. That's a good question. I mean, with eight seconds left, they'll just get found. <laughs> lovely, lovely upgrade for Boomich. And a couple of frags as well. Oh, may have been worth the save after all there. I, I know that it meant that we wouldn't have got any loss bonus, but everybody on their team could have bought. Uh, Kyojin doesn't have enough right now, so Apex can drop him. It it's not going to be any dramas, but maybe in the long run, a save once that molly came down should have been it. You can see here seven seconds when Boomage picks on out. The time to get to the site and clear that out, it was never going to happen. So Navi are on the board. And a great little combo there, simple and bit, combining in mid to lock things out. So here we go, both teams into the full buys now. Shox has actually got the T-sided AWP here, Alex, so keep your eyes on this. All right, feeling himself after the uh, double no-scope clutch. He's always been the, the secondary AWP, it's just questionable when uh, Zywu doesn't have it. He's going to keep it up, it wasn't just for the start of the round. So again, if you really want to get that bracket control and Na'Vi want to contest, you've got to break through simple and bit. And then if you've just about managed that, electronics ready for you as well. So good luck, have fun, good util usage. Just forces simple to the boiler, perfect flash. Considered all of their options here, Vitality. And that's mid control garnered. Yes, yeah, so they've got everything they need right now because as that happened, Apex has walked up towards B. They've actually exchanged some damage and a lot of pressure applied to this B defense right now. That'll keep Boomich and Perfecto planted and put in the back of Simple's mind that maybe he has to rotate over to help out that B site. Still plenty of time for this 45 seconds left and Simple's starting to cheat on over here. Does he want to go aggressive mid or does he want to make his rotation to B quicker? Looks like the mid plays on the cards. Yeah, and Shox is posted up for this. So it's Simple versus Shox on the Yorps. If he takes a glance, and as I say that, they turn around, they turn tail, and are charging into this two-man defense of B. Perfecto, he's been lining up this flash. It's a little avant-garde. Should be able to catch them as they commit. And that's easy for Kyojin. Just Boomich left on the site. Vitality with 15 seconds. Boomich flashed off. Stray bullet through the smokes, his best bet. They can't deny the plan. I say that. Watch Simple go for a Hail Mary. One no scope's enough. Where you are, oh. and Zaiwu a bit wobbly on that one. 
Looks like they want to hunt it down here. Zyra was already pushed forward towards tree. This round is secured. Bit and Electronic have signaled their saving. Then we've got a run boost to hunt simple here. So he's running away, but hot on his tail. Zywu not around the corner in time. Simple should be getting away with this one. Now that was great from Vitality. Right? They didn't at any point push into anything other than the final throws of B, right? Top and under control, they're a little bit threatening. Mid control, a little bit threatening. But realistically, there has no idea for Navia where the fight was going. If Simple goes around that corner and calls Sector clear, at that point, he can be rotating back, right? He can be heading towards B to help him on out. But when you're the B defenders and all you have to your name, Thought he might be thinking about it. All you have to your name is a couple of flashes to defend with. You need to hit the first shot, right? You need to be trading out the gates. You cannot go down like this. So a great one here from Kyojin on the way in. Been able to pick up the second kill just here with the assist of Apex's flash. So it will be another buy round for Na'Vi. Not too many problems just yet, but they're gonna start feeling the pain if they can't convert this one. Both teams with perfect buys. Diffuse kits plenty, so Retakes are possible. One-way smoke dropped out there. Nobody going to pick behind it for Na'Vi. And Shox is just straight up mid. He's ready for this. Again, Shox is the one to take that AWP into the play. He's been pretty active in looking for opening fights, right? The MAC-10 on Dust2 on the CT side. They're pushing through. Simple blind oh, oh, again. Oh, run oh. down. They needed that. And Masuta takes them both. That's the site wide open. Only one man left to defend it, and the trades are good. Vitality, they are mixing it up, and they are looking fierce. That last round, you just sit there as Na'Vi doing nothing for the better part of, what, a minute and 30 seconds. This time round, they throw a little bit of aggression, a little bit of leg showing up mid with that orb shot, and then they collapse down on that hold. Just absolutely running over Na'Vi, and now they're up to five. Maybe there was a good reason they went for Inferno over Overpass, because this is the great. It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Perfecto's got everything he could possibly <laughs> desire for this next round of play, and they've got 50 seconds now to not only plant Chad, but try and take this away. Yeah, the fact that the bomb was still down T-stairs and they're already containing these Na'Vi members, it's not going to be an easy 40 seconds starting... starting now. Because they know exactly where you hide. There's no way out. Zawu has banana control. Apex and Kyojin are coming, and Shox is there just in case they haven't covered off all their angles. They, they saving anything there, you reckon? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Look at that established crossfire. <laughs> it's actually kind of uh, perfect. It's still a good 15 seconds for this. Yep. Apex, Kyojin, Zaiwu, here they come. And deals with the first. Can't quite manage the spray, so it falls to Boomich. Holding on to what he can. Does well for one, and that will be an M4. Make it an AK for good measure. Something out of that. Ooh, close there on the chase. Didn't quite get him. Time expired before. So yeah, it will be that AK. Theory crafting. All right, I'm with you. Shocks on this AWP. Okay. Perhaps Na'Vi CT rotations were, you know, they might be accounting that as a Zywu presence. They might be trying to uh, peek and prod around it, or it's something as simple as just Shocks is comfortable on it. But regardless, Na'Vi are going to be calling that AWP and being aware of where it is, but not aware of where Zywu is. The thing is, a T-sided AWP for me on Inferno is probably one of the hardest sides to AWP on with all this utility you have. So it doesn't matter for me who has it. It's bloody difficult. Yeah, I mean, don't forget, I think the, the first splash Zywu made in Tier 1 was that ridiculous banana AWP ace on at Summit. Yeah, running on up. That was like That's like his closing move when yeah. the final moments, when games are getting tense, right? That's the, the Zywu closer. I wouldn't be surprised if he whips that out at uh, some point. Let's go. Oh, oh, he went for info, and he finds a whole lot more than he bargained for. Tagged up heavily, smoke in hand, and yeah, he's going to drop that. A bit shallow. Bullets through. Hinder Apex's adventure. Oh, he's still what going through he this. Up this to? is it's crazy. Of it's because of the gap, and he's taken down Boomich. Apex, you are an animal. The flash, great. Trying to get across. Perfecto, they know where you are, and he was tagged up earlier. He's calling for backup. Done well to take another. And they're dropping like flies. It falls to Zywu with an adjustment of his own. Bomb site open for business. Shock should get there just in the nick of time. A resmoke for good measure. And the law is obeyed. Zywu, what are you trying here? Playing around that smoke. Opting for a banana side. It's a good plant for him. Oh, and an audio. Faking cue. it. Yeah, just trying to make him think they fumbled the boost here. So two would have been needed for that. And Shox, he peaked. Missed shot from Bit, but there goes Zywu. Shox has to do it all now. 
They're posted up on his location using the smoke for the element of surprise. And he floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. Shoxy, Mr. Papillon. Rumble, old man, rumble. That is nuts. Like, he's just gone, well, I guess I'm fighting my way out of here. Drops that grenade straight on through it, using the smoke to his favor and snatches that one away from Na'Vi. Look what it's done to them. Oh, that's absolutely rinsed them right there. You think about the Famous on the site doing so much. Two kills, right? Two kills out of the Famous on the site right there. And then Shox just comes with that haymaker. Zywi with a couple as well to get him on in. And this is looking great now for the Vitality T side. Six to one, Na'Vi back down to pistols. And starting to, well, not starting to run away with the T-Half. They're running away with the T-Half now. Uh-oh, Apex burnt. And Apex as well. Like, the, he basically has these guys on a leash. Come with me. We're going to entry B, right? <laughs> yeah. it, it just, uh, follow me. I'll set the pace. Oh, no, no, we're still going. Don't worry about the smoke. He gets them into the site, right? And these pace changes from Vitality right now, they're really hard if you're Na'Vi. Are we getting slow style? Yeah. Are we getting aggressive style? Is there a pack? Is it just one? We don't know what's on the other side. And I'll tell you why it feels so unique to Vitality is because we've never seen an entry fragger turn into an in-game leader. Yeah, that's his true. His intuition, his read of the game is, is specifically forged by the role he played for years. Okay, and seven. at that point, he can have a whole team on the same page he is. That is intimidating. You're seeing Na'Vi now buckle under that pressure. Uh, it's interesting to see, right, with this B hold, because so far, if you note the way that Na'Vi do this, they haven't been going for full banana control rounds. They've just been smoking off this half wall, right? And they're more than happy to allow Vitality to operate with half the banana. It's only Boomage, bro. Yeah, I love so that. Th this is in, and Boomage is not going to get anything done here whatsoever. Just immediately taken out of the equation. kyojin has been hitting a couple of nice shots, right? Necessary kills for him. Things are looking good for Vitality now, as they're going to get themselves up to seven rounds. Na'Vi... I, I think if you're them, holding on to the Kevlar is more important. Your max loss bonus, right? You're going to have enough to buy next round, so keep the Kevlar. You're not really going to be working too much on a Vitality economy at this point, right? You've got Apex and Shocks. They've got plenty. They're going to get the win bonus of this one, so they'll have at least another buy in their back pocket going forward. But yeah, they're only one round away now from winning out the half here, and, and this is really good. This bodes really well for a competitive series, or at least one that will go the distance. I think by most definitions, that's competitive. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we, like, this This is the thing. Like, Na'Vi might have to opt to go for more control somewhere else, right? The round that they won, it was the combo of Bit and Simple top mid, right? Simple got the opening kill, then Bit got the two as they tried to push up through that line. If they want to go for more banana control, they might need to take Simple over there and park him with the solo AWP and then play 4A. Uh, they might need to contest a little bit more aggressively with their util sets because right now, Vitality don't have a problem waiting out a lot of the early nades, right? Okay, top banana smoke to the half wall. We'll just wait. We're not really worried about anything crazy here. And at best, Boomich is playing sandbag. So at the moment, you know, Vitality know what they can operate with. It's just about the patience to do so. No AWP for simple here. So they've actually gone in for five rifles and Boomich knows he needs the extra nades for this banana control. The third man over a bit again here. So fortifying that B bomb site, and they're heading fast. A Vitality, they're ready for this. What simple are you cooking up? Yeah, Simple panics with the smoke. That's a lot of damage. They've weathered through the flame, all for this element of surprise. Now Simple's hit them with the dunk, and this one's just collapsed. They took so much damage through the flames there. Look what it's left them with. Yeah, interesting that they couldn't get the extinguish off there. Not quite sure what would have happened in the comms, but either way, this is a great response from Na'Vi. They'd love to keep everybody alive and get that AWP out of Shox's hands. Apex out of apartments, gets blindsided by Simple. That's going to be his third kill within the round here. And it is just Shox now. Look, he's been all right in the clutches, but this one here would be something else. Now, I was talking about finances, not too much of a problem. If Shox goes down, it's not the end of the world, but just keep in mind that right now, Vitality would be operating with the 1400 loss bonus. So we could quickly spiral. <laughs> a bit of a standoff here. Yeah, Electronic's so far forward. Nice. Surprise, surprise. Exactly what they wanted. And not going for the AWP, interestingly enough. Yeah, I saw this discussion just the other day uh, on one of the forums where people were talking about the fact that at a certain point in the game, Simple just stopped wanting the AWP. Like, they were killing opponents with the AWP and he just it didn't decide to pick it up. So we got a little bit of a replay there on some of those mollies they were running through. I guess if there was multiple mollies thrown out in defense there, you don't have a smoke for all of them. And here we go. So Simple is definitely online. He wasn't necessary for their Dust2 conversion. I say necessary. I mean, he was there, just it wasn't the uh, solo star of the show. 
Oh, Shox has got a bit of pep in his step again here, just heading up middle, looking to see if he can find Simple slightly aggressive over the flames. It is just the two-man hold again here top mid. I don't think Vitality would be pressing the issue in the same way. So back to business on B, and this is the same deal, right? Smoke half wall. This is what the Na'Vi defense have been doing every single time, and it's disrespected. They're through. They are through. They're all here, all five. They can just execute B straight away. There's it two players on the side. B. You just evacuated through Speedway. They're coming in. Masuta will gobble up the flash. A bit of a miscom there from Vitality. Bit looking to return to the fray. A well placed incendiary from the CTs, but here they go. Vitality committing. Flight pass out. Iron is perfecto. Dances with death. Only the one to report. And now under the smoke. Look at that filthy one way. Legs will be exposed. Here comes Simple up the banana. Apex very brave about this. And he's done some damage, but now the advantage is Na'Vi's. Two from construction side. Bomb ticking. Comes down to what Zaiwu's capable of on this coffin position. He's not going to be flashed. Need multi and delivers it. Two heads down. And now just two remain. Electronic and simple. Quite the partnership, but not much time for this. Save. And starting to fall back. They will concede. It's another for Vitality. Yeah, great stuff there from Zywu. Right? You think you still have shocks over towards New Box in that power position with the AWP as well. So you had a safety net on a safety net there, but more than ready for that Coffins push. And there you go. That's the half one. So moments where Na'Vi just shut Vitality down. Sure, that's happened twice now, but only twice. Vitality are really putting the herd on at this point. And that Na'Vi bank, well, we will see another buy come on through, so you don't have to worry about that. We can see competitive rounds here, but this B bomb site, it's just been targeted from different versions of pressure. They completely disrespected that half wall smoke. So when they watch the demos of Na'Vi, they've gone, they'll drop this smoke and they don't even play behind it, right? They're not even contesting it, so we can exploit this. This is why I thought that maybe we'd see a change up from Na'Vi. Maybe we would see something come out of Na'Vi where they're uh, trying to fight for more control. They're trying to press the issue, push all the way down. Maybe have an AWP set up, because right now that territory is free for Vitality. And they're just running up mid yeah, as well, he's, right? He's actually ahead of Molly's. Uh, Simple gets info. Masuta, however, continues to try and force the issue. What is through? he doing? Yeah. He genuinely was considering that. Now, Electronic's been boosted up into a real power position. He's fallen off now, I think, upon the loss of apps. Doesn't want to be caught in the bottom. They've this really is a potent B setup, though. Yeah, they've, well, they've really conditioned Na'Vi at this point, though, right? Like, you're defending A now for the better part of 40 seconds with just Electronic and Simple. That's how much you believe that they're going to come towards B. And right now, Vitality just cutting noise and doing their default spread. Sure, there's a little bit of aggression out the gates, but here we go. Poking and prodding. What an adjustment from Zywu. He's managed to find one. Boomich keeps it level, but they've got the info that there wasn't an unannounced bit on B. Surely that spurs them into A and look at them charging up long. A pincer movement into simple and electronic. How do they handle this? Typical smoke drop by Electronic, almost the perfect indicator of their presence. Two of them here, but that's what they do best. Two heads from Simple, Electronic providing, and it's a pair of frags for him as well. A shutdown from the perfect A defense. Yeah, okay. Well, we talk about why it's scary to go away. That's why it's scary to go away. Simple and electronic. And the fact that, yeah, you're right. They identified where Bit was. They tried to punish that space, knowing exactly what setup that they were looking into and just can't get away with it. So Vitality, with all the information, just not able to get the kills here. And it looks scrappy, right? It definitely looks scrappy for a moment here, but electronic saves the day. You don't get many players better at playing this position than the man on your screen right there. And uh, frustration from Apex, I think because they knew that they had everything they needed for that kind of a round. And you want to make sure you're securing everything you can. Boomich now with some actual banana aggression here takes Zywu out of the equation early. He's been silenced and Apex straight through the smoke, so we're back to a four on four. No way. Like, that's, a, that's the Boomich move. He never gets caught. Gets it, but this time Apex just with a stray one. <laughs> Straight through, you can see his corpse there. Now a little extra incendiary for Apex to add to his collection. They're rejigging the setup here. So Simple's actually rotating all the way back through spawn towards B. They, they really just think it's going to be B. And I, I feel this is probably the right way to deal with things because if you can lock Team Vitality out of a B play, now they're going to start having to ask questions of where we can finish. So Simple's here, has a flash ready. It's the same one we saw Perfecto try and get away with before. It's a cool little bounce from it. It, it lands right in front of Coffins, which you know is a prime location to have T-Faces staring at it. Lots of util to come in here. Well placed nade, and the spray combines for so much damage. Vitality, they are bleeding internally, but they still try and strike, and so many men. 
Perfecto needed a few more there. He had an opportunity. It does mean the site is theirs, and behind the smokes lingers the retake. Bomb to be planted. Shock's trying to find that dream location for a safe one. Look how low they are, dude. If that nade is placed well, could finish the round right there, and then it doesn't. And so the 12 HP of Apex and Kyojin combined lives on. Apex contingency plan on Banana. Shox is going to have to take some fights here. And Kyojin trying to remain relevant. A presence at least containing Coffins. It's a big one from Shox. He's tagged up a bit. All three of them there. Even Apex chipping in, but the bodies have dropped and they know where you are. Shox, too many men to handle. And a lovely retake out of Na'Vi. Shox just needed like a kill there, right? Just one kill going their way and then maybe it's a manageable one on two situation. But the Diffuse comes in. Plenty of time to spare, and Na'Vi get their fourth. So starting to build a CT side now, but this got very, very scrappy. You feel like Perfecto is probably good for two there. That bomb eventually going on down. But this retake, right? Just all three of them straight through the coffin's position, at each other's backs, trading with each other. We do have a bit of a uh, technical timeout called here for a moment. And how Vitality are thriving in that environment. Let's get into it, though, because this is another big one. Admittedly, not that ideal for Vitality. Na'Vi winning out, posting their fourth, and now an opportunity to make it five. Yeah, so Vitality have opted to try and keep this one costly here. They've got the Zywu AK, and they've sent him up middle. He's got the backup of a couple of Deagles, some light util to make this one work as well. And the early exchanges of nades right now have left Vitality with nowhere to go. Top mid smoke, bottom of banana smoke. They're between a rock and a hard place right now, waiting for the fade. They're trying to set up a run boost in a smoke, or just a boost, rather. And as it fades, nothing on short. It's a very passive hold, and I think that's also a product of the buy. Na'Vi know they're up against something a little lighter. I don't hate it if they try and target B right now, because they've just seen that top mid's clear. So there's no info for Na'Vi top mid. They know that players could be up there. And Boomich is about to be pushed off, right? He shouldn't re-peak that. That nade, not bad. Chunk of damage, but if you're Vitality, you can isolate two on B. They continue to pull out utility back and forth, what and now... What game are they playing? Look at Zywu's still up top mid. The, the force bits rotate. He might even just go arch side. He, he might get an opportunity to get a heads-up fight against Simple here. Oh, it's so confusing. You can see Simple's just not sure. Uncertainty created and crafted by the French, and Zywu's going to sell it even more. Takes down bit, slips away as well. And now this pincer movement, Apex has partnered up with him. Zywu getting two on the hero, AK. He's the only one with the They're rifle. They're going back to A. They're going to Electronics You're Domain. You're kidding me. They are pivoting back now in electronic. It's electronic. I'll give you two guesses on where he is. High flash should catch him. Short should challenge him. This is looking incredible from Vitality, making a lot done. Time, electronic time, time. has put the bomb on the floor. They have to retrieve it. There's no time. They can't plant. It's, it's over. He's done it. He just wins the round just like that. All of the heroics completely redundant. And that's the fifth found, thanks to Electronic. I can't believe I didn't keep a track of that clock. But you, you understand what Vitality are doing, right? You understand. Zywa kills who? Bit, A defender. Next player, simple, A defender. At that point, there's still plenty of time to rotate back, but Electronic, the pesky Electronic from the pit, <laughs> absolutely ruining their plans right there. They still would have had a number advantage collapsing onto B, but they knew that Perfecto and Boomich would be there, and Apex not happy with how that one's unraveled. Um, shocks. Uh, that's a curious buy right there. It's a curious buy all over. Okay. Now, that's a very expensive 50 bullet SMG. And Zywu, oh, okay, he's just decided he's had enough of this. He's being pushed, naded, flashed, but he lives on. Ooh, careful now. Some sound cues to continue to uh, maintain presence. He got very, very lucky there because Bit didn't full clear on that flash peak. If he went a little bit wider, Zywu was dead to rights. And now a gamble call having to be made from Na'Vi here. Simple. Going to join the B defense. And guess who that leaves towards A again? Electronic on his lonesome right now. I think the round will stay quite committed like this. I don't see too many rotations back and forth. And maybe, just maybe, he'll have to do it again. It does look like they want to finish A. I know there's still so much time for this, and we've already seen what indecision will do. So I think this time around, they might actually stick to their guns. Perfecto smoked off. Trying to throw out his utility and aid right now. Masuda slipped the net. The simple's here. Oh my, that's quite the frag to find, and the scalp is simple. Sasha smashed. Perfecto two. Masuda, more impact on this T side. He started well. Looking to finish the same. Electronic, though, looking for him. A different position. He's mixed it up, and all eyes were on pit. Again, he strikes. Surely no more. And Kyojin's the one to humble him. Now we are talking for a ninth. 
That's too much to ask, isn't it? Hey, Electronic, can you win a round on your own again for us? Yeah, just uh, one more time. We just need it again. Just one just, more now. Just one more, please. See if we play. But, uh, all right, so nine now for Vitality. This is really, really good stuff. We should be able to see the buy come out for one more round of play, and it will be the last round of play for Na'Vi. Loss bonus is uh, bottom of the barrel. Uh, Perfecto can drop one. Electronic's good for a buy. Boomish is just going to be in the regions and getting away with it. So it's going to be fine. It's not going to look amazing, but it's going to be fine. And Vitality actually got that one do, to, uh, done too with a cobbled together buy, right? We had uh, the CZ75 come out. We had a, uh, the, the P90. I'm just really glad Simple didn't see the P90. Ah. Like, you know, he didn't see it, he didn't find it, he didn't, he didn't it. know it existed. Okay. And that's, I think, you know, as Frankie put earlier, you don't want to make Simple mad. Masuta again, like I think this reminded me of his earlier openings. He's been looking pretty damn good and good to see him in form coming into this grand final. I mean, Kyojin and Masuta, though I agree, Kyojin is much more of the unknown mm. considering how Masuta has really hit the ground for Vitality in these last few months. He's looking like a stable presence, you know, like it took, it was a long integration process and they had patience and belief in him. And that brings us straight back to the x -Taz conversation, you know, they've managed to find a, a, a replacement for RPK from the new generation. Yeah, who at the moment seems serviceable. Yeah. Whatever he grows into, that story's still to come. So, so far, seems extremely workable. Vitality are in a bloody grand final. So, something's working. Yeah, and it could very well be the very same half Na'Vi posted on their map pick. It was a 10-5 half on Dust2 and looking to do the same on Vitality's T side here. Uh, this feels like back to the early stages of this half, right? Where Na'Vi were defending with that half wall smoke. Vitality are just with their default spread. So there's no crazy wolf pack mix-ups of pace and play here. But Na'Vi have no information. I want to make that clear. They do not know if anybody's top banana. They do not know if anybody is top mid. They're in a quite a passive stance just here. So Vitality can play with them however they like. Bomb down very passive and control completely. Vitality here, but Simple swings out. He denies that and gets away. Shocks is lucky to have gotten away with that. And Bits there, ready to strike as well. I think Zaiwu going to go scouting on B if they can... Oh, they want a pressure! They want a pressure and Simple completely booked! He was hoping and counting on Bit to actively hold. The only way they've got a way back in here is if Zaiwu gets up to some real funny business early here. He's well ahead of the smokes. Boomish from Coffins, Perfecto holds the line. Apex, 4 HP, he'll be the last of... Yeah, interesting to see these CT sides going for so many extra nades here, but interestingly enough, no smoke. So a bunch of flashes. You're going to see a lot of info plays off the back of that, and the HE for Apex is in there for good measure. So three towards B. Shock setting up Masuda and Zaiwu here with some fights, and the one X bet odds at the top of your screens. I feel like they're inching ever closer in Vitality's, well, not favor. But they're just starting to believe a bit more. They like that half. Can I There's nothing made, no noise, not a single sound. Perfecto slips all the way up, and little does he know, on the other side of that wall, there are two angry little CTs waiting for him. Long smoke deployed, Apex flashes, and Kyojin Ooh. peaks. That's great for Kyojin. He's going to go even for, for more. Almost spat everywhere. And now Simple and his P250s. Jesus, you need to keep him quiet, keep a lid on him. And it's bit... Set up for a 1v2. Play this one safe, Shocks. If you go down, that bomb is going planting fast, and that's a risk. Oh, my Lord. Bit knows he's got a 1v1 here. The util dump to try and reposition. But it's a battle of wits. The young versus the new. The young versus the new? The old versus the new. Bit. 100 HP. Bomb on his back and even a flashbang for good measure. Apex has already pushed halfway down mid here, right? He didn't actually chase all the way up, so they didn't know that Bit had committed this far. Shox has heard it now. Apex is starting to move on over. And the longer Bit takes clearing out the site, the better it is for Apex to get in position. Shox waiting over towards the ruins. The bomb getting planted safe. They will allow that one to go down. Flash through. Gushed up. But Bit can oh. still do this. Yeah, Apex's nade is good and just peppered away at to finish it off. Very threatening at times. Simple's P250 was two of the three on B. I think a very different round had he got that third, but Shock's good impact on the pistol. Yeah, this is problems now for Na'Vi right within this map. The fact that they've gone down here, they weren't able to convert this pistol. And Kyojin's done a great job straight across mid. Zywa gets two immediately in Banana. That's a huge second shot, isn't yeah. it? That's supposed to be electronics trade, and yeah. he gets to pull the trigger. He didn't even get to pull it. Well, here we have a few questions if you're Na'Vi, right? They can drop AKs across and make this a very, very threatening second round. Seems that's what they're doing here. Simple's into an AK, Boomich into his signature. 
Mac 10, and the rest have some pistol upgrades. So this is not Team Vitality out of the woods just yet. Nade oh. down mid, this is aggressive. Yeah, the surely they'll be expecting something like this though. But if Shock kind of limits himself, never mind. No limits on that. He sprayed down two of them to half health, but it's far from ideal. If anything, Navi have been given a real leg up into a bit of a force by victory here. Even an extra upgrade for Electronic. Okay, Shox has given him a way in. They're not in a rush though, are they, right? They've got this opening kill. They're waiting to see if there's any more aggression across the map. They're still quite scared for Banana Presence, so they're using their utility defensively here. They're clearing out close with that Molly, the flash to facilitate the peek. And well, actually, on the other side of this wall, Masuda can still be flashed forward here, right? Apex is holding this in the sight. What's the timing going to be? It's in the air. Masuda swings, and he doesn't get the kill. Oh, he was dead to right. He's let him go. He caught the fish and just introduced it back into the pond. Here they come. Simple's taken oh, down no, Boomich. No, 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 no. Apex onto Simple, so it's a bit of a catastrophe for Na'Vi. That hero AK now falls into Perfecto's hands, and it's up to Bits and Eagle to keep space on A. He is going to try and join the troops silently. Apex has actually gambled incorrectly. He's joined the forces over on that library side. So with 30 seconds left, yeah, you better get your socks pulled up, your laces tied, the tightest of info gaps held by Masuta. He's got no info to be found now, smoked off completely. And they're walking in. First to contest, likely Apex. And he does catch, of course, the bomb carrier. It's lost in the smoke. Perfecto will scoop it up just oh, in the nick of time. This. The boots can deny it, it, and it will. 11 for Vitality and Perfecto. You are, oh, yeah, in trouble. A lot of trouble. Oh, after time as well. Was that it? couldn't have gone worse. It was 450. I thought it was in the last second. Oh, dear. Okay, that is that, that is horrible. That's worst case. Yeah, and it looked like it was such a great start. Shocks pushed down mid aggressively. They had a maneuver here to open things up, but this is where it went wrong, right? The double kill with a TK in the mix here. So maybe Masuda was leaving him for a reason. You know, he left the, the fish back in. <laughs> It was poisonous. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's all a master plan. He was hoping to get the team kill in. Shave off some of Simple's kills as well. Yeah, this one here is... to, to If you're going to start to vitality be broken, they should be able to get nine. They have to win the next gun round. So there's going to be, after this round, three more gun rounds necessary for Na'Vi to break to get anywhere close to double digits and Vitality scoreline of a 11 right now. Someone on Vitality has got a very strong arm. That nade was deep. That's the best thing about that deep mid smoke, right? That deep mid smoke, the fact that it facilitates, if you can lock them out of banana with you two and you know that they just posture around that ramp, you can get that deep nade so far down, in multiple nades, you get yourself a bloody kill. It's a prize of the show. Well, I think a couple of kills are about to walk into Masuda's domain. The flash is set up. And simple denies. Great find. The armor keeping him alive there. <laughs> Holy moly! Perfecto and Boomich on their heads, shrapnel in all of their limbs. They do go down and see what Na'Vi can make out of the remains. Simple not interested in that MP9. He'd rather have Bit capable of a bit more damage regardless of the absent Kevlar. Kyojin and Zaiwu established as an A pair. Yeah, so Kyojin's going to be hard to get past on the balcony here. It feels like he should be good for at least one kill. And then even if he takes contact, Zawu is going to be able to swing and fight from library. Oh, they're going towards library right now. Simple, this would be some shot. Zawu is having none of it, but that's why Bit was equipped with the MP9. Trade provided. Still a competitive round here. And if Electronic can somehow fish Kyojin out of the mini pit, Apex on the rotate, very ready for action. That's the bomb. That should be the round. Vitality 12, and things really are starting to fall into place perfectly. Yeah, I'm kind of glad Electronic went down there, because I feel even if you got the kill, right, and Vitality just went, well, we'll just play the time, uh, you maybe don't get any loss bonus. So I'm glad that he went down so that he gets, gets that loss bonus, and now he can go for the full purchase. But here's that really deep nade from Zywoo. And uh, there's the double dunk coming on, on over the top. So great little find there from Apex, and even more securing that bomb drop. But here we go. Perfecto, he's going to be buying into a Tech 9. It's AKs for the rest. Zywoo into the AWP. Important round for Na'Vi now. If there's any conversation we had about a comeback on Inferno. Three-man B lean for Vitality early here, and it's just Perfecto. Passive at best, just throwing some nades out to let them know that there is some presence. The deep mid smoke about to fade, and that sends shocks back in towards the site to crossfire with Kyojin and Pip. But Vitality are sticking to their guns right now, right? They, they haven't 
started to flow Apex on Masuda back over to help out this A bomb site. They're just keeping very still over towards B, hoping they're making the right call while mid control is being taken. These footsteps noted. Shox will be coming that over to his team about what is possible. And mid to B has been a gap for almost this entire round. So Zyber will have to address it at some point. So passive. But it's very announced. They're coming. Long is lost. Zywoo going back towards where it all began. It's spawn. And Masuta in looking for info. Perfecto will be confirmed on Banana. And fights on all fronts. A team kill right back. <laughs> <laughs> Call it equal in that respect. And oh, Zywoo is being warped on. He's not ready for it. Doesn't seem to matter. Still finds the head of Electronic. Shots from Boomich confirm. There's more. And now with the bomb scooped up, if he loses it here in mid, it's a dire straight what for both Boomich and Bit, the double B. A is open now. Both Apex and Zyro were over towards B. They should be able to get this bomb down if they're quick. Okay, well now we've had the script flipped and no smoke. I say that Apex has one of his own. Bomb has been Closing the gap. Trying to deal with the flash. Zaiwu play already knows where the last is as well. Boomich, last hope, no hope. It's Zaiwu's bullet to eliminate. And just the two of them there. That was Apex and Zaiwu with a little bit of a full 5k between them. <laughs> I think we need to uh, maybe address the Zaiwu situation right now. He's up to 22 kills here. That shot he hit on Electronic there, that was wild. Like he was sliding with the AWP, right? He just gets his head through the corner of the wall. A massive shot for him. And yeah, like this is the Zywoo factor right now. It's great that Apex is able to mop up the mess there with the TK. This shot is this just is mental. Nonsense. Right, just sliding away with the AWP. And he grabs two more kills within this round, right? Let me just put some context for you in this. He's got 22. The next closest is Apex with 11. Then below that, you've got Kyojin with nine, six for Masuda and six for Shock. So Zywoo's showing up in a big way right here and it's stumping Na'Vi now who are starting to look frustrated. Maybe that's the answer as to why they didn't pick Overpass because Zywoo said, no, pick Inferno. Yeah, I like Inferno. I like Inferno. I do good work on Inferno. <laughs> okay, Matthew, you can have it. It's yours. Okay, well, Na'Vi, through virtue of that plant, they get to go again, but this one is feeling pretty much done right now. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of fight in Na'Vi. Don't fancy your chances of, uh, of breaking top mid here. Like, this is a setup very rarely goes awry for CT. Shocks is the contingency to hold apps and support if there is contact. Zywoo so hearing Boiler. That's the first in the feed. Zywoo so looking for more, but Kyojin activated as well. And just like that, Na'Vi lose two of this mid aggress. Bits ahead of it. This could have be a little bit of an element of surprise here. Warns them now with a missed shot. And conversions for Zywoo all over the map. Yeah, Chad, this one's going to peter out. Vitality making a very strong case for the equalizer here in the grand finals. All right, well, we do have Nuke waiting in the wings to come up next as the third map here. And uh, we mentioned it before, but uh, Na'Vi right now are on an 11 Nuke game win streak, which is uh, going to be something for a T-sided round. So here we go. Na'Vi, the half investment. Would really love to get the engine going. Need something a little bit special here. And the bop up and down. A warning shot from each, but Apex is the one to draw first blood. Yeah, that's the closest you're going to get to a reaction speed test in Counter-Strike. <laughs> like simple, just quickly releasing and touching that crouch key once again. Fires off one pot shot. Oh, look at the CT buy as well, Alex. You can see how well it's going. They have four AKs and an AWP. Right, so things are going really, really well over there. Yeah, and still quite the sack of nades. Haven't really pulled too many out of them. Here's one. Apex to flash for that control of top banana. Electronic. Well, dry peak from Masuta prior to the flash, and it's good convert. This is a boost we're seeing more and more, and it pays off again. Vitality. Deal with bit through the boiler. A 15th a lock in. Simple and boom, it would have to do the impossible against what you just described. Four AOK 47s. I don't think Masuta's going to need any help. We're we'll looking at nine in a row to take this to overtime for Na'Vi, right? So it's going to get very, very difficult. Now, look, I believe in simple, but I don't believe in the simple one on five with the Deagle. What about the AK and the incendiary? The AK makes it a little bit more compelling, but I, I still don't love his chances here. Well, the 
more cavalry is on the way, and Masuta just stands and delivers. 15 secured. One away from Vitality, just evening out this grand final and putting Na'Vi just back in the hot water, being all hyper aware that they're not going to be one map away from a million dollars plus an extra 195 from the first place of EPL. This resets it, right? This is great, right? This sets us up now for uh, a best of three down the stretch. Bang. So uh, it all, it all kind of changes a bit. And Na'Vi getting brutalized here, right? In the CT side, the rounds that they were coming by, it felt hard for them to get those rounds. So deep nade. This has been great. There it is again. Look at all the chunk damage. Simple. Lucky to be alive, really, isn't he? Just a pot shot straight towards the ramp, and it is into his dome. Do we want to call this one done, or...? Yeah, I'm down for it. All right. What, you want to just sit in silence as it ends, or...? <laughs> Can we play some, like, sad Titanic-style music, or do we want something a bit more energetic? I think it's... It, it's I'd rather frame it in the energetic all vitality right. are here to play kind of... Uh, I like that one. Yeah. I don't know how the French national anthem goes. Probably very French, I might imagine. Well, they got themselves top mid. And Shocks, given the courtesy of a smoke to have absolutely nothing to complain about. Apex has definitely got something, though. Falling to the balcony presence. Kyojin has got a lovely angle as that smoke blooms, but he's got to count on Shocks if they wrap its Masuta. Just hanging out in the open, he'll greet oh. them both with bullets. That is exactly what his team required. That advantage Na'Vi had is short-lived, and now look at it. The three of them, don't forget, Simple caught a stray bullet early on that team ramp, leaving him with just 18 to try and ply his trade, 30 seconds, and a couple of flashes to try and get into the site. Trying to break Kyojin and Shocks. They're coming. The crossfire is hell. Bomb is now confirmed, and it's Kyojin and Masuta.